Will Tesla be able to produce and deliver over 1 million vehicles in a single year by 2022? In this video, we will discuss Tesla's clear path to delivering over 1 million vehicles in a single year. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Twenty nineteen was an amazing breakout year for Tesla in which they broke both production and delivery records, as well as proving themselves to be an efficient and effective auto manufacturer. With all the recent good news from Gigafactory 3 in China, Tesla now I believe has a clear path to deliver 1 million vehicles in a single year. In order to see how this is possible, I'm going to take you through each one of Tesla's production facilities and talk about the current and future production that could be possible in these plants. We'll start with Tesla's first factory, which is the Fremont, California factory where the Model S, Model 3, and Model X are currently being built. As mentioned, 2019 was a record year for both production and deliveries for Tesla, and we found out that in the full year 2019, Tesla was able to produce 62,918 Model S's and X combined, and also was able to produce 302,276 Model 3's, all at this Fremont factory. That's a total production from Fremont of 365,194 vehicles in a single year. Because of increased efficiency and these impressive numbers that they were able to put out in 2019, they have proven capacity of over 400,000 units per year at the Fremont factory. And based on other research I've done, I believe they could get to 500,000 per year out of that factory with some more increased efficiencies. I do think somewhere near the 500,000 vehicles per year is approaching the ceiling of the Fremont factory. And some of the reasons why I think they can get to this with even not adding a lot of extra space partially has to do with the way they're going to be manufacturing the Model Y, which has been confirmed that it will be built at the Fremont factory. But in the summer of last year, Tesla Roddy put out an article, and they were talking about Elon's interview on Ryan McCaffrey's Ride the Lightning podcast and talking about the production of the Model Y, and they had this quote from this article. Musk detailed how the Model Y underbody was switched to aluminum casting instead of stamped steel and aluminum pieces, which greatly simplifies the moving parts involved in making the vehicle. This change effectively means that initially, using two castings to make the structure will take the process from 70 parts to four. And once the big cast machine comes into operation, this will have brought the process from 70 parts to one. So because of the design underpinning the Model Y, they're going to be able to turn 70 parts into one single part with a big casting machine. This will allow for a lot tighter manufacturing space and should allow for a smaller manufacturing line for the Model Y. I do assume they'll also move over these learnings to the Model 3 as well, so they should be able to fit the 500,000 vehicle production in the same Fremont facility where they currently produced over 360 in 2019. So here's the breakdown of what I see the estimated yearly production capacity of the Fremont factory. I think they can easily put out 75,000 Model S and X combined, over 300,000 Model 3s, 125,000 Model Ys for a 500,000 total vehicle count. Obviously these numbers could go up slightly and the numbers could shift around a little bit based on demand, but this is a basic estimate of what I think the Fremont factory is capable of. The next manufacturing facility that's important to mention is Tesla's Gigafactory 1 in Sparks, Nevada. Currently, this factory manufactures the 2170 battery packs, power packs, and also Model 3 drivetrain. Recently, they have proven capacity of 35 gigawatt hours per year of cell capacity coming out of that factory. And according to an electric article, which I will post below, they quoted Alan Swan, the head of Panasonic's U.S. battery manufacturing, saying, For us to move to 54 gigawatt hours should not be so hard. We now have the know-how to do it in quite a high volume environment. So Tesla is currently able to produce 35 gigawatt hours of cells out of the factory, and they have a clear path to 54 plus gigawatt hours per year. Because of this capacity and the clear path to 54 gigawatt hours, I believe that battery capacity is no longer a limited factor on the number of Teslas that can be produced. As an example, 35 gigawatt hours of 2170 packs are enough to build just over 560,000 Model 3s, and that's assuming an even split of 
sold with a 50 kilowatt hour pack and 50% sold with the, the long range 74 kilowatt hour pack for an average of 62 kilowatt hours per car. If Tesla is truly able to move to 54 gigawatt hours of cell capacity out of the factory, that would mean an additional 306,000 Model 3s that could be produced, or Model Ys. It is important to note that the Tesla Powerwall 2 does use the 2170 cells and currently has a 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity. And according to Tesla's Q3 report, they were able to deploy 477 megawatt hours in Q3 of 2019, which was their all-time high. If this growth and rate continues through 2020, this would mean they would need to set aside about 2 gigawatt hours of battery cells for energy storage. So this still leaves plenty for Model 3 and Model Y production. While currently Gigafactory 1 in Sparks, Nevada only produces batteries and power packs, I do believe this is the location where they will build the semi, the Cybertruck, and possibly the new Tesla Roadster. With this in mind, and with the guidance that Tesla has given for these vehicles, the semi production should begin sometime in late 2020. The Cybertruck is slated for production in late 2021, and I believe the Roadster will also come sometime in 2021 as well. So based on these numbers, I could see possibly in late 2020, somewhere around 100 semis rolling off the line. By the end of 2021, I think we could see somewhere around 1,000 plus semis, plus the first 10,000 or so Cybertrucks come rolling off the line. And then in 2022, these numbers, I believe, are pretty conservative, but I believe we could possibly see 1,500 semis and 100,000 plus Cybertrucks roll out of the facilities there at Gigafactory 1. It's also possible that we could see five to 10,000 Tesla Roadsters being produced and delivered in 2021 and 2022. Tesla's newest manufacturing facility is in Shanghai, China, and it's Gigafactory 3. It was built in record time, from groundbreaking to production in less than a year. The Global Times reported on December 30th of 2019 that Song Gang, which is the production director of Gigafactory 3, stated this, The factory produces 28 or more Model 3s per hour and works about 10 hours each day, which means that it produces more than 1,000 cars per week. The factory will be able to produce 3,000 cars per week in the near future. So with this in mind, I believe that the Gigafactory 3 in China could very easily produce 150,000 plus vehicles in 2020. As this ramps, I see no reason why they couldn't produce 250,000 plus in 2021 and 500,000 plus in 2022. Battery supply should not be a constraint for these deliveries and production numbers because Tesla is now sourcing their batteries locally there in China. The final factory, which we'll talk about in this video, is Gigafactory 4, which is going to be in Germany near Berlin. I do expect the groundbreaking for this particular factory to be sometime in the spring of this year, 2020, and there is a chance that they could be producing a very small number of vehicles by the end of 2021, but I think any kind of serious production won't happen until 2022 from this factory. With this in mind, I believe in 2022, it's possible with the learnings they've had and how fast they've been able to ramp up Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai, China, I think very possibly in 2022, they could be producing 150,000 plus vehicles out of Gigafactory 4, and this should be just the beginning of the ramp up. So if we combine all these numbers together, we see Tesla's clear path to 1 million vehicles produced and delivered in a single year. If you combine Fremont's capacity with Gigafactory 3's capacity, I see a clear path to 650,000 vehicles being produced and delivered in 2020. In 2021, you can add in a little bit of production from Gigafactory 1, if I am correct, where they will be producing the semi, the Cybertruck, and possibly the Roadster. And that gives them a clear path of just over 760,000 units in 2021. I believe 2022 will be Tesla's breakout year because that's the year when I think Gigafactory 4 in Europe will open and start producing vehicles. And also, Gigafactory 3 in China will be hitting full stride. Gigafactory 1, I believe, will be producing more semis, more Cybertrucks, and Fremont could possibly be over the 500,000 vehicles per year mark. So based on all this information, I do believe Tesla has a very clear path to deliver and produce more than 1 million vehicles in 2022. Tesla should be able to sell all they can manufacture for at least the next several years, and definitely they should be able to do that through 2022. With their current progress in manufacturing efficiencies, I think this is a very realistic path, 
and I do think that the best is yet to come for Tesla. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like the video, consider clicking the like button so more people can find the video as well. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, it'll notify you when new content is published. Thank you so much.